The Colleges of Education Academic Staff Union, COASU, has decried the poor implementation of the Integrated Payroll and Personal Information System, IPPIS, in their institutions nationwide, saying it has led to obnoxious taxes, third-party deductions and non-payment of scholars on sabbatical leave. The union warned that the IPPIS office and the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation must address the anomalies in the payment system to avert an industrial action by the lecturers. Her president, Nuhu Ogirima, said in Abuja that the payroll system had turned out to be an exploitative tool to deduct taxes without recourse to the negotiated tax which lecturers agreed with their respective state governments. Ogirima in a communique added that other issues such as reductions in salary and non-inclusion of lecturers on sabbatical leave were worrisome, citing the Federal Capital Territory College of Education, Zuba Abuja, where lecturers had yet to get their full salaries restored. Joining us live is Adeni Kunu, a public affairs analyst. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us on the news. Good afternoon and thank you for having me on the, on the news. The union is alleging obnoxious taxes, third-party deductions, and non-payment of scholars on sabbatical leave, basically poor implementation. What's your take on the continuing controversy over the use of the IPPIS? Well, one thing that I have to um, make very importantly known here is that government is actually the culprit in this particular uh, incidences. Because if since 2009, we're talking about about 11 years, uh, certain things should have been implemented, but the government of Nigeria uh, doesn't seem to actually keep its word, then I think it is um, very sad that that has happened. And do not forget that part of the reason why they have been insisting on not having uh, university lecturers put on the IPPIS uh, really is coming forth. You're talking about sabbatical, you're talking about researchers, you're talking about things that are peculiar to the university environment. So the IPPIS is meant for you to receive your salaries. How then do you make those people receive all other non-salary payments that should come to them, especially if they have to do certain things that are very necessary? And those were part of the things that they raised as issues that if indeed you want to strengthen the university environment, you want to strengthen university education, you have to keep to this thing. So for me, I think that um, the government here really must retract and try to ensure that the advice given by the universities uh, in respect of how their finances are handled should be done. Okay, how should the authorities go about addressing these issues being raised by this union, not just uh, the COASU, others seem to be at their wit's end with this. Even salary payment uh, are now attributed to system uh, failures. What options are they yet to explore? In the first place, I know that government really wants to and that is the reason this assessment government must have what are called clauses or government must actually have uh, some kind of alternatives where certain things are addressed. Let's not uh, forget that Nigeria's university education is one of the most badly affected, apart from strikes, which often comes from government not really doing what it should do.